what's your question? Well, um, ideally, I think we should do yoga every day, but if you uh, can't fit that into your schedule, I think at least three times a week would be ideal. Uh, you could even start out once a week, maybe build up to twice a week until you do it maybe every other day. Uh, ideally, again, we do it for a one-hour practice session, and within that session, we make certain that we do some standing poses, sitting poses, and all of the various poses that we did today. Um, so an hour, at least once a week, build up to three times a week, and ideally every day. And some people like to do it first thing in the morning. They love to do it to the morning uh, as the sun rises up. That's wonderful. I personally can't get up that early. <laughs> I used to, and that is actually one of my goals, is to get up with the sun and do it. So any time is, anytime is good for yoga. Any time. Good question. Well, usually in yoga, most uh, when you're doing a yoga pose or an asana, which is all the word asana means is pose, uh, breathing is always done through the nose. And the reason for that is because when you breathe through the nose, your nostrils and the cilia and all the different things that are going in the passageways of your nose you, it works as a filter for the air to come through. So you're filtering the air, plus it's a smaller opening than the mouth. If you were to open your mouth, you can bring, bring more air in. But we want it to be elongated. We really want to suck that air in for the most benefit of that oxygenation and the purification of our breath. And then when we exhale, again, we want to hear that breath as we exhale it out. But some poses, I'm sorry, some exercises, breathing exercises will be done through the nose first and then exhaled through the mouth like we just began. Very good, yes. If you have, say, a five point or five um, count breath, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, then the exhale should be the same length and the same strength as the inhale. Yes, good question too. And to add to that, for some people who have a difficulty understanding the breath in yoga, and by the way, it took me almost two years to really get it down properly, start with the exhale instead of the inhale. If you exhale and then you exhale, you think that's all I can do, you can exhale a little bit more out and then it'll have, you'll have to, you'll be forced to take a nice deep inhale. And so try that sometime. Exhale first. Oh, well, worry is not a good word, but, <laughs> but concern is, yes, and uh, that's a, another good uh, question. On the inhale, we pretend as if our belly is a, um, a balloon, and so when we inhale, we're expanding air into the belly or the balloon, and we're, ex and we're uh, inhaling, filling the balloon up with air, so we celebrate the belly, even though like, a lot of women don't like to think of that, and then in the exhale, we want to contract our stomach muscles as we blow that air out to the nose or the mouth. Okay, so the inhale, and again, if we want to raise up on the inhale, that will open our belly to expand it, and then to exhale, we want to contract those stomach muscles and pressing it out. When I inhale, I always inhale through the nose. I oftentimes will exhale through the mouth, and I make this sound because it forces me to get all of the air out of my mouth before I begin the inhale. Many of us breathe so shallowly and so quickly that we really don't get the benefit of the breathing that is so beneficial in yoga. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> yoga is about, yoga means union of mind, body, and spirit, as we mentioned. And so the best way to achieve that union is through the breath, because it keeps us in the present moment. Uh, balance, balance is very important in yoga too, so that's why we have proper posture. And that's why in yoga, balance is very important, right to left or side to side, front to back, and bottom to top. So yoga is about balance, it's about concentration. So when we do a standing pose or a balancing pose, we wanna focus our attention on a spot. So it's about focus, balance, concent balance, concentration, and proper posture. And breathing helps us to achieve or attain those three things. Michael, hopefully that will change because yoga is being taught in the schools. In fact, I just taught a, um, a physical, um, physical education curriculum program for the Genesee County um, area and they're incorporating yoga in and all of their into all of their physical education programs so hopefully that will be begun this fall and also you had asked about eating I always have water when I uh, do yoga because I have a tendency to perspire or it's just good to to keep your body hyd hyd hydrated so always drink lots of water use a yoga mat uh, some people like to use a, an extra mat to sit on or um, if you're on your knees uh, sometimes people have a problem with their knees, they, they hurt, so you want, might want to take that mat and double it up on your knees and that will help if you're into a, a pose where your knees are being um, 
uh, forced onto the, into the ground. Um, and then maybe a towel in case you do perspire. And wear loose, comfortable clothing always. You can do yoga anyway. You can do yoga naked if you'd like. <laughs> yes, you have my permission. <laughs> and yes, I have done it that way. But I usually wear loose, comfortable clothing. And what is your name? And my email is Julietta, J-U-L-I-E-T-T-A, at Comcast.net. Boom, cha! <laughs> Ta-da!